Hey everyone, it's Natalie. Welcome back to my channel for another video. So in today's bonus video this week, I am going to be sharing with you five habits that changed my life. I love watching these sort of videos on YouTube and I'm actually going to link other videos that have been done on this topic before to give you some more inspiration and to send you to some great channels here on YouTube. Since this is a bonus video this week, I wanted to share with you that a portion of it is sponsored by Home Chef. In a little bit, I will be sharing with you how using Home Chef's meal delivery service has definitely impacted my life for the better. But I want to hop into these different habits that I've implemented into my life that I can definitely say have been life changing. The first life-changing habit that I implemented into my life was to wake up before my kids. And this was at the suggestion of my mom, who was always up before we were. Right after I had my boys, um, I was first-time mom with twins. I was really, really tired and I would let myself sleep in until I heard them wake up. And I was always so groggy in the morning and so frustrated that I, uh, from dawn until dusk, was caring for other people and never had a moment to myself. And I remember venting to my mom about this and just being totally frustrated. And she suggested that getting up before my kids would, um, while it's hard in the moment, would positively impact my life from a day-to-day -day basis and as a whole. In the video I made at the very beginning of the year, my 2019 goals, I shared with you guys that I want to implement a pretty strict morning routine. And so my my morning routine always includes waking up before my kids, um, but moving forward, I definitely want it to include a lot more than just simply getting up before my kids. But I want to, you know, have kind of a ritual that I go through in the morning time to prepare myself for the day. But definitely the habit that was life changing for me was waking up before my kids and getting a head start on the day with having to care for no one but myself in those moments. Another habit of mine that has been life changing is to really get to know my female cycle and my fertility uh, really, really well and to track it really well. So this actually goes back 10 or 15 years for me back when I was a young teenager. Um, my periods have always been quite regular, very heavy, very painful, um, and I sometimes am out for a couple of days because of the severity of my period. This affected relationships, this affected work, school, other obligations that I had. And so really knowing where I was in the month and when my period was supposed to arrive helped logistically so much. And then as I got older and moving into uh, being, you know, like anticipating being married and then early in our marriage, it was really important for me to know not just when my period would arrive, but also when I expected to ovulate. First of all, it was to prevent pregnancy. And so um, we use a form of natural family planning. We've really catered it to what works best for us. And knowing the ins and outs of my cycle was really important for that. And then also for when we decided to start having kids and we were trying to conceive. But beyond pregnancy prevention or trying to conceive or even logistics, knowing my cycle really, really well has also helped with my mental health. I have a pretty severe PMS time that I go through where I deal with pretty uh, drastic mood swings. Um, I also deal with like hormonal breakouts, some acne stuff. And so being able to know where I was in my calendar as far as my cycle goes really brought a lot of peace of mind because if I was having a particularly bad day mood wise and I could look at where I was and see that I was like in the PMS zone, then I would know to take a breath in a few days, everything is going to feel back to normal and I'm not going crazy. It's just something that I deal with. Whereas if I was having emotional issues or mental health issues and I wasn't necessarily in the time of the month where that was typical for me, I would dive a little bit deeper or seek some help or really uh, seek the Lord on what's going on here. And um, knowing where I was in my cycle really helped a lot with that. Another habit that I've implemented that has been 
totally life-changing is to meal plan. Knowing how many portions to make or what people liked or disliked in my household. Um, really sitting down and writing out which meals I wanted to make that week based on what we had in our pantry, what we had in our budget, um, like from A to Z, it helped so much with the stability of the week. In this house, we do have several mouths to feed and several meals a day, including snacks and drinks and all of that. Sometimes my mom and I will cook together and make a big batch of whatever recipe we're working on and then split it up amongst ourselves and then share it with some of my sisters. Sometimes Weston and I have batch cooked where we prepare several meals for the week and put them all together and put all the ingredients together. I did a lot of meal prep and planning and like freezer meals when I was pregnant so that I would have some options for when I have a newborn in the house and I'm just not ready to uh, get in the kitchen and cook a lot. Taking the time to sit down at the beginning of the week and plan it all out helps so much. And I want to thank Home Chef for sponsoring this portion of today's video. Uh, something that has helped so much with our meal planning and our meal budgeting has been the subscription to Home Chef's meal kit delivery. And Home Chef has been an important part of our meal planning over the last year or so. And we have loved making our meal selections from the app or the Home Chef website. And you guys know, I've had various diet restrictions throughout the health issues I've dealt with over this last year. And unlike the other meal kit delivery services, Home Chef offers a huge range of customizations for any diets or for people with like food allergies or sensitivities or anything like that. And something else that sets Home Chef apart from the other meal kits that we've tried is their variety and their weekly selection. So they have like over 17 different meal options that they offer every week and there's something there for everyone really. They have delicious dinner options that can be prepared in about a half an hour, sometimes even quicker than that. And they also offer super quick, like five minute lunch options. Uh, usually I order salads or sandwiches through them and that has really been my go-to lunch if dinner leftovers aren't available from the night before. And honestly, as a mom and a businesswoman, uh, my husband works full time outside of the home. It can be a struggle to get dinner on the table. I'm just gonna be honest with you guys. I love to cook, I love being in the kitchen, but I'm super busy lately. But strategizing our meals, meal planning, implementing Home Chef into our weekly or monthly plan has really helped so much. It cuts down on the prep time, of course. It cuts down on the time spent in the grocery store and it also helps reduce the amount that we spend in our budget on eating out. Home Chef is definitely more affordable in that regard and if you're someone like me who uh, benefits from meal planning and strategizing, you might also enjoy implementing Home Chef into your weekly or monthly meal schedule. And right now, actually, Home Chef is offering my viewers an awesome discount. So follow the link in my description box of this video and use the code Natalie30 to get $30 off your first Home Chef box. So this basically translates to a free meal with like two to three portions in it, or two to three free meals, however it works out. So even if you just sign up to get the discount, you'll get at least one of your dinners in your next meal plan taken care of, which I think is a total win, especially if you're as busy as I am. Meal planning in general has really helped the flow of our house from week to week, and having Home Chef on board for part of those meals that we plan in the week has been absolutely helpful. The next habit that has been life-changing for me is to have a more minimal wardrobe. Right now, the whole Maria Kondo, KonMari method is so popular because of the Netflix special that aired. And you guys might remember that a few years ago, it was all the rage here on YouTube to show like the KonMari method of doing clothes. But I actually think whether you stick to like the KonMari method or just minimalism in general, it is a fantastic way to bring some peace and to eliminate frustration in your life 
as a whole. We all gotta get dressed in the morning and we all have things to go to that need certain outfits, but we don't have to have a huge number of items in our wardrobe because just at one time something caught our eye in the store and we just impulsively bought it. Having a more minimal wardrobe or even like a capsule wardrobe at times really allows you to value the pieces that you have and to be creative with how you pair them with other pieces in your wardrobe. And while it sounds sometimes to be a bit restrictive, I found it to be incredibly freeing. I don't spend nearly as much time picking out clothes because I have so much fewer options than I did before. I've eliminated so much stress and frustration when it comes to putting outfits together. It makes doing laundry easier. It makes shopping easier because I know exactly how to fit things into my wardrobe and I see where my needs versus my wants are. It helps on a day-to-day -day basis. It helps with the budget and it helps just my mindset in general to be more grateful for what I have versus always looking at what I want more of. And the fifth and final habit of mine that really changed my life was to make time for self-care. And I did talk about this in my 2019 goals. It's a goal that I'm carrying over from last year. Um, last year, I really set out to understand what self-care really means and what it looks like practically in my life. You can see videos on YouTube of self-care routines and it's different for everyone, but a lot of the time someone's in an exotic spa with gorgeous houseplants around them and it looks like uh, something clipped out of a dream magazine. For me, I just don't live that lifestyle. Maybe it doesn't fit my budget. Maybe it doesn't fit how our house runs or what I prefer, but self-care for me doesn't have to look like self-care for someone else. And so I definitely would encourage you if you are kind of embarking on a self-care journey, if I can even put it that way, if you are looking to implement some more self-care in your life, really sit down and think about and pray about what makes you feel cared for and then do those things for yourself rather than look for external sources to give them to you. For me, it means getting my nails done every several weeks. Sometimes it means going and getting a haircut. Sometimes it means purging my closet and spending some time really taking stock of what I have and what I don't, going through the process of being grateful. Sometimes it means meeting with a friend or a mentor and having a good heart to heart talk. Sometimes it's sitting down with my Bible in the morning and doing some devotions during my morning routine. Sometimes self-care looks like investing into a hobby or an interest that you have. So I have been working more on my music, more on my video craft. More recently, I've really enjoyed some floral design, like over the holidays, I really enjoyed that, as well as for my sister's wedding. It brings me a lot of fulfillment and a lot of joy. It's a very cathartic experience. Whatever fills your soul, whatever makes you feel cared for, do those things and then make time regularly for that to happen in your life. And that's everything that I have for you in today's video. I hope you enjoyed uh, hearing about the things, the habits in my life that have really been life-changing for me. Definitely let me know in the comments some of the habits that you've implemented into your life that you would consider to be life-changing. I would love to learn from you guys and to see what inspires you and what's been really positive in your life as well. A big thank you to Home Chef again for sponsoring a portion of today's video and if you want to make sure that you don't miss bonus videos like these don't forget to hit that bell button and turn your notifications on thank you so much for watching today's video i hope you are doing well wherever you're at and i'll catch you later